This is literally one of the most important things you can do to change your life. I know, that's a bit of a bold statement, isn't it? Let me start by asking you, though, what are you thinking? Yeah, what are you thinking? Because what you think in your mind and feel in your heart is what you become. You become what you believe. You are the grand total of your thoughts. And because you are a thinker, that also means that you are a creator too. You see, mind affects matter and your reality is materialized through the power of your thoughts. Therefore, it's super important that you can have a calm mind and choose your thoughts really wisely so that you can work on them. If you choose positive thoughts, you can bring about positive results in your life. If you choose a negative thoughts, you can bring about negative results in your life. And saying that sounds pretty obvious, doesn't it? But hey, if you're new to me, I'm Teresa Young, Relationship Master Coach, and welcome to Relationship Talk. And today I'm going to be sharing with you why it is essential to build your self-awareness. And I'm also going to be sharing with you how you can exactly do that through a powerful technique that will help you to have dominion over your thoughts. Does that sound good? I hope so. You see, it all starts with our thoughts and our beliefs. And remember this acronym, it's TEAR, T-E-A-R. Your thoughts and your beliefs affect your emotions and that impacts on the results and the actions that you take. So remember that, that is T. T is your thoughts, impacts on your emotions, and that impacts on the actions that you take and therefore the results that you get. Here's the thing, thinking something is exactly the same as doing it. How you are feeling when you are doing a thing is just as important, if not more important than what you are doing. So what you think about yourself and also think about another person, including your partner, you also do to yourself. And that doesn't sound so good when I'm saying that, does it? So I completely appreciate it. Now, whilst we can do our best in order to think good, choose good thoughts in each and every moment, take action, put things into motion, all of those good things, hey, we are living a human experience. And there's gonna be things in our world, in our life, that will wind us up, that will push our buttons, that will activate us, that will trigger us. Things that we hear, things that we see, things that we feel, that will really stir up negative thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And sometimes it can be really hard to let go of those things. I've been there, I get it, I totally get it. And Sometimes we can even think that there is a negative intent behind somebody's actions and behaviour. For example, somebody never texted you back, suddenly is, they don't care about me. Or they are ignoring me. Maybe your partner has gone to bed early and you think ah, they must have the hump. The thing about these things is that when we can easily take offence to it and take it as a personal insult, it can feel like a personal slap in the face, isn't it? It's like, ooh, <laughs> you got me there. But these are self-sabotaging thoughts. These are self-sabotaging beliefs and they are not doing any good for you. So you have to start doing this to yourself, okay? <laughs> There's no need to take things personally and assign negative intent to it because of their actions or because of their behaviours or even beat yourself up over things that you may have done yourself too. Because these heavy burdening thoughts and beliefs, they will end up festering. And then suddenly it's like bang, like a volcano erupting. So what we can do is change the frame or change the lens in which we are viewing something from. Because this can have a powerful effect on the meaning behind what we put around the events and the situations that occur in our life. And when we can change the frame, we call it 
a reframe, then you can release yourself from the negative thoughts, feelings and emotions that you may be experiencing. So let's give you some examples of how you could possibly change the frame. Next time um, a maniac driver cuts you up, just imagine that there is somebody on the back seat who's really ill, perhaps, and they're rushing them to hospital. Maybe somebody bumps into you in the street. Could it be that they are partially blind, didn't see you? Maybe somebody hasn't returned your call or called you back. Their phone could be dead. Perhaps that's it, the battery life has run out. Maybe a colleague didn't invite you to lunch. Maybe they had something personal to deal with. Or there was something else going on that they were embarrassed to tell you about. See how you can think differently about this situation. Food for thought, hey? Food for thought. Because when you can change the frame, you change the meaning. And there's no need to self-sabotage with the heaviness of negative responses. Remember, how we respond is 100% in our control, is a gift to us. And we have 100% responsibility for how we do that. So here's that powerful technique that you've been waiting for. Okay, so I'm just going to read it out to you because when you ever have pre mis when you have preconceptions, for example, or negative emotions or intrusive thoughts that may come your way, it's a case of practicing letting them go and letting them pass. Now we're not talking about suppressing them; it is instead being conscious and being aware of them, but not giving in to them. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So this is a very useful visualization technique that you can do. So imagine standing at a train station platform. So you're at a train station platform. And as the train passes, imagine each carriage is a thought, a feeling or emotion. And in great big letters on the carriage on the side, you might see stress, anger, failure, fear. You want to hurt them back, rejection, whatever you are experiencing at that time. Acknowledge them. Wave as they pass through the station on the side of that train and disappear again. Watch them disappear. Because all thoughts, feelings and emotions are real, but they always pass, just like the train. Keep practising that. Keep visualising yourself at that train station platform with those words passing by, passing by, passing by. Because as you practise this exercise, it becomes stronger and stronger over time. And your mind starts to learn how to operate differently in response to any intrusive, negative thoughts, preconceptions and emotions that you may be having. Keep practising that. Because I want to remind you that your thoughts are connected to your feelings and your emotions, as I mentioned before. And your goals, your dreams, and your desires exist in your thoughts. So in order to create a better life and a better reality and better relationships, it starts with you having dominion over those thoughts and over those beliefs. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up, show it some love, give it a reaction there. And I'm also super curious, that's just one tip in order to be able to build self-awareness. You might have a tip yourself. Please drop it in the comment section below. I would love to know. And if you'd like a private session with me to receive some more in-depth guidance, you are more than welcome to reach out. You can message me on social media, find me as Teresa Young. I'm across all mo well, most social platforms there you can find me. And also on my website, www.teresayoung.com. Again, I'm Teresa, your relationship master coach. And always remember that love is your essence, confidence, is your superpower and you are the bold navigator of your extraordinary journey of love, life and relationships. Until the next episode, take great care of yourself and others too.